Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. The Minerao, a truly impressive arena here, high up in the great altitude of Belo Horizonte. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4 5 1 formation, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. Well, we're on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man, and he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Bernardo Silva, brought forward, what does he try from here? Cristiano Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva, oh he's broke, shapes to shoot! And the follow-up, goal! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal, too, is a bonus. But this game has already taken on a real attacking edge, and, and long may that continue. Ronaldo was quick to move in. Keeper's handling wasn't great. I doubt he'll score too many, which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. Portugal take the early advantage. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Jao Moutinho going full steam ahead down the left flank. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. A oh, nice touch. Bruno Fernandes going for goal. Oh, taken with style. 
And they're at it again in double quick time. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Portugal have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Driving on, a real charge here. Good challenge, he just stood firm. João Moutinho has given away a free kick. João Moutinho gets his final warning. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Cleared away. Put offside that time. Ruben Diaz. Brings it forward. And here's Christie face to face with the keeper. Hits one! And more and more and more. Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Ronaldo with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. Portugal take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Gets the better of his man. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. <laughs> out on the left now and it's Cristiano Ronaldo now it's Cristiano Ronaldo and he's shown him a clean has a hit a decent effort as the first half draws to a close as easy as one two three it really has been that straightforward halfway through the match but very little to suggest that much will change I'd be free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Portugal 3-0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. We have dropped the into the second 45 minutes. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, and a shot! It's anyone's ball. Just brushed off the ball there. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card.
Ronaldo is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Good take, and he's had... Tries a shot! They've done it! It is no contest. It is a landslide. He does it all with an air of efficiency and simplicity. Yeah, that's brilliant from him. Such a, a calm finish. Just pick your spot, don't think about what the keeper's going to do, concentrate on what you have to do. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution for one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. <laughs> it's become a case of men against boys. Ronaldo concedes a free kick for that. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. It is quite a run he's making here. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. It upfield. Now, can he capitalize? And he's on his way. He's gone for it. No mistake. Well, surely that completes the demolition if it hadn't occurred already. It's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. Four in the game, he is the man. Portugal tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. Ronaldo gets it back. Bruno Fernandes. He's through now, real chance! It's a goal! A contest no more, it is nothing short of utter humiliation. Yeah, by the looks of it, there may be still more to come.
Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Forward it goes. Oh, what a ball! Shoots! And the keeper can swallow it up. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Bruno Fernandes. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. He's away! Big chance! Chance! No, that's just wide. South Korea are making a change now. Yeah, it's about time I think we saw some activity from the bench, but it's it's debatable as to what level of impact can be made from here. It's it's pretty late. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's surging through. Got a sight of goal. Shot at goal. Back of the net. And again they pile on the misery. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. How many more does he want? There's going to be another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. No doubt as to who has the moment. And that will be the final act. Portugal have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. Your final thoughts, Jim? Portugal simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predicted. So.